How to be productive, life-changing tips. An unproductive life is a wasted life. Hardly would anyone decide to deliberately waste his life and you wouldn't want to be the person that does a thing like that. That underscores the importance of living a productive life. But that would be a pipe dream for someone who doesn't understand how to be productive every time and in everything. By the way, what does it mean to be productive? It means cultivating a habit or learning a skill to get more done. Then how can you learn how to be productive? It requires paying close attention to how you spend each day. By doing so, you can make each day count. Thus, you would need to know how to be productive at work. If you're a student, you must know how to be productive at school. Since we generally feel relaxed at home, where we are not guided at all by rules, we may waste plenty of time if we don't know how to be productive at home. This video contains life-changing tips for those whose lives have been unproductive. It also has tips for those who, though not wasting their lives, have room for improvement. How to be productive at work. The following tips will help you to be productive at work. Number one, plan your day. This is the first and the most important step to make your day count. You can't just spend your days according to how they come if you're not planning to fail. You need to plan how your days will be spent. Though you can't accurately determine how each day will be for you, you can prepare what you want to do each day. Number two, handle the most important tasks. Plan the most important tasks early in the day when you have the physical and mental energy. Also, don't do the most tedious job when you're likely to be too tired for such jobs. Get the heaviest jobs done first. You'll not spend the rest of the day under pressure, which will hinder your productivity. Number three, make the commute time count. No matter how long or short the time it takes for you to get to your workplace, you can do something productive while commuting to and from work. Think of what you can be doing to or for your career and family while stuck in the traffic. You can plan, listen to the educating program, or even read or treat files if you're not driving. Number four, beware of multitasking. While arguments abound about the propriety of multitasking and it's been avoidable, be careful about this. It leaves you with nothing to be achieved because it's hard to concentrate on many tasks at the same time. Being focused is important to being productive. Number five, take a break. When a task is getting too difficult to handle, it's best to take a break to recharge. Studies have shown that when we use up our energy tackling an especially tedious job which defies all our approach, our concentration will fall. It is usually best to leave the task and take up something else. When you come back to the task later, the solution may come more easily and faster. Number six, get enough sleep. If you want to work the next day with full vigor, energy, and alertness, you must be well rested the previous night. If you didn't have between six and eight hours of sleep the previous night, you will not be able to concentrate the next day. That's the rule. How to be productive at home. The tips mentioned regarding staying productive at work will also help you to be productive while working from home. However, to learn more about how to be productive at home, the following life-changing tips will assist you. Number one, create a productive workstation. If you want to work productively at home, you must make a part of your home your workplace and treat it as such. Even if you're working from your only room, make sure it's not from your bed. But it's better if you can clear a room and make it your workstation. Be sure you have a chair and a table that is ergonomically fitting and train your mind to shift to work mode whenever you're on your workstation. Number two, don't leave your meals to chance. While getting up to prepare your breakfast or lunch can make incursions into your productiveness, you can't leave that to chances. You must not wait until you're hungry before start opening the fridge or oven or looking around for something to help you tackle the hunger. That will waste your time even further. So when you're planning your day, plan or prep meals as you would if you were commuting to work. Number three, mentally go to work. Act like you are going to work outside your home. Have a regular wake up time and time to start work. Take your bath at the time when those commuting to work take theirs and dress according to the nature of your work. 
Don't just wear pajamas or shorts simply because you're in your house. An appropriate dressing will help you to approach your work with more seriousness. And this is how to be productive at home. Number four, learn to say no. To be productive at home, you can't be available for all appointments and visits during working hours. You must learn to say no to calls and visits that are not work-related. People will want to take your presence at home for being available. This only takes away your productiveness because their visit is entering into your productive hours. Don't think you're being rude if you say no to distractions from friends and family. Number five, communicate with coworkers and partners. You can't work in isolation. It's either you're working for someone or someone is working for you. It's either you're a supervisor or the supervised. Ensure you keep the line of communication with the other team members open. Send emails or organize video conferencing or calls to ensure that you create a virtual office for all of you. How to be productive at school. Are you a student thinking about how to be productive at school? There are very long lists of do's and don'ts on this matter. Some are practical while others are theory at best. Here are valuable productivity tips that can change your life. Number one, be punctual. If in the world outside the school, punctuality is the soul of business, it can never be less true in academic work. When you get to school several minutes before the time for class, you can settle in more quickly and be mentally ready to take in lessons for the day. Tardiness is bad. It's even worse if the teacher has started teaching before you enter. You would have lost a great deal that day and can hardly productive. Number two, always target the first row. One of the best ways to elongate your attention span during lessons is to be very close to the teacher so that you can see eyeball to eyeball. Under that circumstance, you can't fall asleep or be distracted. You will hear everything the teacher said with mouth and body. Even if you're not inclined to, you'll be forced to listen as you can't hide behind other students. Number three, jot down as much as possible. A 2014 study by the Association of Psychological Science showed that there's a sharp increase in memory among students who wrote down what they heard while learning. This is because the words you write down become visual and stick to the memory. Number four, record lectures. The truth is that you can't keep pace with the lecturer that is simply lecturing while jotting. He's lecturing and not dictating. So you can write down everything said in the class. But how can you be sure you don't miss the most important points? You have to record most lectures and play them back later. That's one of the ways to be productive in the class. Number five, set and write down your goals. You have a lot to read, think about, and to do. Your brain can't accommodate just about anything. Even if it has the capacity, your mind is far from being capable. What will help out in this regard is to know your goals and write them down in form of your school timetable. In addition to all that has been said here, other things to do to be productive are set aside time regularly for exercise. Don't give technology the earliest part when your day, unless your workday depends on it. Always take your breakfast. Dedicate your workplace for work alone. Minimize distractions from messaging and emails. Switch between difficult and easy tasks. Develop and maintain a routine. Reward yourself for accomplishments. Clean your workplace, be it your home or your office. Take time to relax. Silence your notifications. Have regular working or study hours. Being productive involves a lot more than what you achieve today and lost tomorrow. How to be productive is to continue to make progress each day and avoid wasting any of your days. One way to sustain your productiveness is to track your progress. When you track your progress, you can quickly know when you're dropping in productivity. It is possible for us to be procrastinating and think that we are progressing. So whether at work, at home, or school, the essence of a good life that will not be wasted is to be productive. As you could see, the tips mentioned here can assist you to be productive at home, at work, or school. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe, comment, and turn on the notification bell.